Welcome to this video on putting an image inside text in PowerPoint the right way. So there are a number of different ways you can really enhance your PowerPoint by putting images into the text. And I'm going to show you how to do it on this video here. Um, this is a really useful way of doing it. Feels a little bit fiddly as you're doing it. But it means then once you put the image in the text, you can move it around, you can resize it, you can crop it and it's much more flexible. So I've got a really, really boring, basic, really badly designed um, slide in front of me. And what I want to do is put that image in the text so it looks much more funky, much more visual and I can start to then work from there. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did this. So I'm going to go back to the first slide and I'm just going to take a copy of that slide because I've got the text on and I'm going to get rid of that image because I'm going to do something else with it. And what I need to do here now is I'm just going to make this text a lot bigger because it needs to be really nice and visual. And you do want to have a nice bold font so you've got loads of space for your image to pop in. And I'm just going to make this nice and central use the lines that pop up so that it's right there in the middle. Now that I've got that text there, what I need to do is I need to insert a box, a shape, a rectangle. And I'm just going to do that across the whole slide. And what I tend to do is go straight away and make sure there's no outline on that box and then change the colour. And I'm just going to then send it to the back. So I'm going to go into the arrange and send it to back. Now there are shortcuts for doing all this, but I want to show you where all of the functions are on the ribbon. And I'm in the shape format tab on, um, on the ribbon because I'm clicked into that rectangle that I've added. And I'm selected on that rectangle. What I need to do now is shift and click on the text so that the text is also selected. So I've got that rectangle in the background that's white selected. There's no outline and I've also selected my text. And what I need to do now, again in the same ribbon, in, in, in the same tab in the ribbon, in shape format, is to come to the left and hover and find merge shapes. And what you need to do there is click on the subtract option. So when I click on subtract, it's all disappeared and it kind of looks a little bit worrying, like, oh my gosh, what's going on? But I don't need to worry about it. What I need to do now is insert the image. So I'm going to go to insert pictures and pick this image that is sat on my desktop. And you can always drag it in if you want to as well. And that's the image from the initial piece. Now, before I do anything else, I'm just going to crop this so that it's just a nice sort of shape and size for what I want it to be. And then if I click on it, I'm just going to make it bigger moving it from the corners so it keeps the same format in and I'm going to make it cover sort of a nice part of the slide. So now the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to the back. So remember my the, um, the rectangle that I added and then I merged with that text is currently at the back. My image is on top. I need to send that to the back. So again, I'm going to be in my ribbon at the top and I'm going to click send to the back and then immediately if I click away, you can see now that that image is popping through with that text. Now, because I've done it in this way, if I click, if you click into your text, I can move that image around so that it just fits really nicely. It works for however I want it to present when I'm there. So it en enables me to crop it once it's in there even I can even click on this and I can even resize the picture as it currently is I can even go to the picture format tab at the top and I can crop it or I can use my shortcuts whatever I want but because I've added it in this way it gives me much more flexibility so a couple of steps there you need to follow you need to add a rectangle to your presentation, make sure there's no outline and then select that rectangle and select that text and merge the shapes and select the subtract option. Then you're just going to add your picture, resize it, crop it, whatever you need to do, 
send it to the back and there you have the, the image coming through the text. Now just remember whatever text, whatever font you put on there, just make it as bold and as chunky as you possibly can so you've got more coming through. And then remember once you're there you can resize, reformat and move around that image so that it works best coming through that text, that font. So a nice tip here just to make your PowerPoint presentations a little bit more interesting, exciting, visually engaging. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.